In this video, we will demonstrate the registration process from a member's perspective, as well as how a member will log into the website and how they can reset their password. In order to register for the website, we must navigate to our login page. The location of your login page, or the member login button, will be dependent on your website design. So let's go ahead and click that login button. On our login page, instructions will be populated for you, usually informing your members to click that member registration button. This content can be adjusted by navigating to the pages tile within Club Central and selecting the login page from your content tree. To register for the website, we're now going to look for that member registration button. The next page that we are taken to is our member validation page. Instructions will also be populated here for you as well and include the fact that members must enter their member number, first name, and last name exactly as they appear on their account statement in order to validate their account for the website. If the member requires further instruction, they can go ahead and click here, and this will open up a detailed PDF of the registration and login process. And if we scroll right to the bottom, it will also assist them with how to reset their password. As mentioned, this is where the member will validate the information in order to create their account for the website. So we would start off by entering our member number. And note, as mentioned, that the information entered here must match exactly as what we have on our account statement, i.e. what matches within our account receivable or backend system. So for example, if my name is Joshua and I try and put Josh, my account will not be validated for me. I must enter Joshua. If there are any questions, the member can definitely give you a call at the club and you can confirm that information for your member. If you do have our email marketing module as well, you can also send out a welcome announcement which will populate the fields for member number, first name and last name for your members as well. Additional fields can also be added to the validation process. However, this may increase the probability of error and usually results in an increased call volume from your members. Therefore, it is recommended just to have these three mandatory fields that you see here. So we go ahead and add in our name. And once the fields have been filled out, the member can go ahead and click the validate button. Then as long as all the information entered is valid, the member will then be taken to the registration page. The registration page is where a member will come in to create their username and password as well as select their email address for the website. This email address will be used for correspondence from the website, including booking notifications and password reset emails. When your members hover over each field, they will be given an explanation including the requirements. The username must be at least three characters. Examples can include the member's first initial and last name or member number if they like. For the password, the standard is six characters with at least one letter and one number, but this will vary based on the settings you've applied to the website. The password must be entered twice to ensure that it has been entered as intended. The email field will show one of the following. Your member may have an email dropdown, which will list one or maybe three emails that the member has in the backend system, allowing the member to choose which email they would like to use to receive the correspondence from the website. If the member does not have an email address in the backend system, they will see an empty field just like we see for our password and username. The member can now go ahead and enter an email address here, and that email address will automatically be added to the backend system for you. Once all the fields have been entered, the member can go ahead and click Create User. After a member has successfully registered for the website, if you have the roster module, they will be taken to their edit roster profile page where they can update their profile, including what they want visible or to be hidden within their roster page. If you have the statement module, note that it will take about 15 to 20 minutes for the member's statement data to populate on the website. However, moving forward, the member's statement data will always be available. Dependents will also be able to view a primary member's statements at this time if the setting has been enabled the member will also receive an email notification confirming that they have successfully registered for the website, which will include their username as well as a greeting customized by the club. Now that a member has created an account for the website, 
The next time they want to access the member portal, i.e. the module, such as statements, roster, and all the pages that you only have visible to members once they log into the website, they will start by navigating back to that member login button, where they will go ahead and enter their new credentials to log into the website, and go ahead and click that login button. Members are required to log in to the website every time they wish to access that member portal. They are also encouraged to log out after every session, especially to prevent another member from accessing their account if they can access the site from the same workstation. So we'll go ahead and log into the website. Once we log in, you'll see that we are now able to access that member portal. In order to log out of the website, we're just going to click our name and within the drop down, we're going to select the logout button. Now, in most cases, when a member logs into the website, the landing page is member central, which is the basis of our member portal. This also allows members to navigate through all the modules that you have. Should a member forget their password, the site has a simple process the member can follow to reset their password. The member will first start by navigating over to the login page. Then, within the login page, they will see either a reset password or forgot password link, where they can go ahead and click that button. In most cases, the member will be asked to enter their email address that they used to register for the website with. If the email address entered does not match the email address the member registered with, which can be confirmed in the user's tile within Club Central, they will receive an error message usually directing them to contact the club for assistance, where an administrator can send the member a password reset email on their behalf. So for example, if we click that reset password button and we don't have that email on file, we will receive a message similar to what you see on the screen. The other option is to prompt the member for their username. The option of email address or username is selected within the login configuration settings. Once the member successfully enters their email address or username and clicks that reset password button, as long as that information is valid, the member will then receive a reset password email, which will include a link for them to go ahead and reset their password.